Hello, welcome to the and Sons of Bitches and Wonder Women that might be watching. Welcome to this week's comic book haul. Not just any week, but the final week. This is the final comic book haul of 2017. Where, well, where, well, where well did this year go? Good gracious. Damn, I, I, I can't believe it's over with. <sighs> well, anyway, I hope everybody's having an awesome, happy holidays. Uh, I always wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, or whatever it is you did on December 25th. I hope it was awesome. I actually said this, too, because I did do a comic book, not a comic book, but a Christmas haul, which I would recommend you check out. I got some great stuff, and I had fun doing that video. Um... But anyway, this is the New Year's video. This is the New Year's, Happy New Year, whatever thing. New Year's is never been a big, a big deal to me and my family. We never go out. We never do anything. We're boring. Uh, but, you know, it is the final haul of the year. So let's try to make this a little extra special. Hopefully not too long because I'm really hungry and I got Chinese food waiting for me and I want to binge watch Ash, Ash vs. Evil Dead. So let's try to do this quick. Um, but I do have a lot of comic books to show you guys and, and I am going to combine this with some Funko Pops and other collectibles. I was going to do that in a separate video. I'm just going to get it done in one shot so that this can be... This might be my final video of 2017, but I still have to review Star Wars The Last Jedi. I think I'm going to do that before the year is over with. So, um, yeah, we got a lot to show off. And, and it's really quite shocking because, to my understanding, the last, um, by the way, how do you like my Punisher shirt? I love it. Um... To my understanding, I thought that the last week of December was generally a very slow week, a very light week. <laughs> not today, not today. So let's go ahead and show you what we got. Uh, of course, big shout out to the Comic Haven and Undercity Comics, both located in Whittier, California. No, I am not affiliated with either shop, but I love them. Those people, those are my peeps. And I want to give them shout outs every time. So let's go ahead and show you. Uh, since Under City's Hall is light, let's go ahead and show you that. Because we did get mostly everything at, um, at the Comic Haven. So let's go ahead and show you what we got at uh, Under City first. Alright, so most of these comics belong to my sister. She's the one that got. Uh, a lot of these. I have basically got everything. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these. I'll show these in a second. Um. <clears throat> Put these over here. Those count. Those count as collectibles. I will show you. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And, uh, you know what? My bed is covered in collectibles. I don't know where I'm going to put this shit. Oops. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, I think I'll just put everything on that on that uh, little thing right there. Okay, so we start out with number three of uh, Dance of the Dead. I'm not sure if this is a variant or what. No, this is cover A of Dance of the Dead from Xenoscope. Then we got a whole bunch of, holy shit, we got a whole bunch of Robin Hood from Xenoscope. We have uh, number six, and this is Robin Hood the Hunt. This here is uh, cover A, which is really nice. Cover, uh-oh. The bar code is on the back, so, Jesus. Cover C. Wait, hold on. This is what takes up most of the time, huh? You know what? I'm just going to show them to you. So we have one cover here. That's really dope. 
we have this color right here. And wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is really sexy. Uh, this color right here. So, yeah. Three copies, not four copies of Robin Hood from Xenoscope. I have got to check this comic out. My sister says it's really good. Apparently, she's a fan because she does get all these variants. So, there's got to be something to it. Ah, uh, my comments are falling all over the place. Damn it. Uh, so we also have number seven of George R. R. Martin's A Clash of Kings. We got this cover right here. And this cover, which I'm assuming is the variant. Uh, uh, no, actually this is the regular cover. Cover B, cover A. Okay, so this is cover A, which is really majestic, I must say. And this is cover B. Uh, this is actually a bit of a, a back order, but a special order. Uh, my sister apparently loves this series, and she was missing one, but this is her the one that she would, the one that she needed. Uh, and uh, what a nice cover! Number four of Sacred Creatures. This comes from Image, and apparently this is a really good comic book. So I'm gonna have to probably take it into consideration. <clears throat> My voice is breaking up. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to puberty at 36. Number 6 of Gotham City Garage. That is dope. We have not been finding too many variants for this. So, whatever. Uh, number 15 of Jessica Jones. Every time I come across a new Jessica Jones, I'm reminded of how I'm missing number 10. I need to get that. Nice Windu, number five, Nice Windu, uh, Jedi of the Republic, I believe. This is the final chapter of this series. What a cool cover. Very, very cool. And last, but definitely not least, uh, I cannot resist. And I think this is the new, um, I think this is new, I'm not sure. Uh, Star Wars Adventure. <laughs> Star Wars Adventures, look at that, the Porgs. You can't say no to the Porgs, man, you just can't. You can't eat them, and you can't say no to them. Ah, come on. Everything is falling all over the place. That is what I get for not organizing my stuff. Okay, so that comes from the comic, uh, excuse me, that, that comes from Undercity. We, we do have more stuff that comes from Undercity, but we'll get to that later. Now, uh, now we have the comic haven. They're actually put it in two bags. Okay, okay, I can work with that. So let's go ahead and show you, this is actually smaller. Let's go ahead and show you what we got in bag number one. I'm not sure why we put it in two bags. One bag would have been good, but whatever. Probably makes my job a little easier. Alright, so let's see. <sighs> Alright, we start out with number 36 of The Flash. This, I believe, is color B. Yes, and that is cover A. Good old Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, oh god. Wow. Captain Cold. Jesus. That's really cool. Ah, uh, crap. I know you're gonna fall over the place. We had number 36 of. 37, excuse me, of Wonder Woman. I'm in a hurry, guys. That's why I'm kind of jittery. Uh, and here is the variant, I believe. Yeah, that is the variant. Stay. Oh, these are cool. These are really, really cool. So, 994, we are almost at, at 1000, I don't believe this, uh, of Action Comics. Pretty cool. That's really cool. Uh, 
number 18, X-Men Blue. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Had to get this one. My sister, uh, she she has not been impressed with the Jean Grey comic. Um, but we have the OG. Yup, we have number one of Phoenix Resolution. And of course, it is lenticular, so that's why you're getting that little shiny beam. Zoom, zoom, zoom. But that's what we call. Um, does this by any chance? No, it doesn't extend. Okay, so. And of course, uh, what is this? Number 2 of 12. I think some of the other copies are in there. I know that there's more than these, right? But anyway, we have Doomsday Clock. We got good old Lex right there. And we have, uh, what the hell is this? What am I not seeing? Anyway, we got that cover right there. So, we got more. I'm just going to put these in the bag. Ooh -wee. And this is a heavier bag. So here we go. Ready? It's not that much heavier. It's not that bad. Alright, uh, so we have number two, book two of Batman Creature of the Night. We have some Su Suicide Squad number 32. Cover A right there, and cover B, both are pretty dope. Uh, we have, ooh, we got two Amazing Spider-Mans, awesome. So we have number 793 of uh, Amazing Spider-Man, with this being part four of Venom Inc. And a uh, very cool cover here, this is number 14. Eight years later, um, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. So that's kind of cool. You got uh, both versions of Spider-Man coming out in one week. We have another one shot from Metal. We have number one, Hawkman Found. Wow. I'm pretty sure that's kind of a spoiler, but you know what? My own fault. I'm behind. Here's my man. Huh? 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 Come on now. Punisher, the platoon number four. Number 973 of, wow, this is, uh, this is intense. Let's cover A. Yeah, cover A and cover B. Uh, Batman Detective Comics, that's really dope. And we got a nice cool one right here. This is nice. I like this. I like the simplicity of this. Right above the Arkham Asylum sign. That's awesome. We have number 595 of Invincible Iron Man. Number 35 of Hell Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. Of course, we got the variant. Which, I probably should not have gotten. This is, it's okay, but it's, there's not much to this cover. I should have probably passed on that one. They pull them, they pull them, and I, I almost feel like we need to get them. But once in a while, I'll be like, you know what, I'm not feeling that. This is adorable. Uh, number 291 of Despicable Deadpool. That is so cool. Uh, you know, I hate these filters. All, all these girls, they always use these filters, they're really annoying. So, for Deadpool to do this, that's kind of cool. I love these covers. I don't know what it is about these covers, but these are just... Oh, these are awesome. Number 18 of Batgirl, we got Harley Quinn fighting the... We got, well, I should say, Batgirl facing off with Harley Quinn. And uh, this is a really cool cover. This is a good variant as well. So, really excited to read this. I've got to catch up because this looks really fun. 
It says, Oh, Holiday Night. That's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, we got, uh, is this a variant? Uh, no, this is color A. I don't think I got a variant for this one, but it's okay. It's okay. We got number 17 of Black Hole and the Birds of Play. A series I thought I would have ditched a long time ago, but I like it. And, uh, we have Spider Man vs. Deadpool. Uh, this is color. Not cover, but, um, huh, what's the issue number? I don't, there's no issue number, what? unless, am I not seeing it? Oh, Jesus, it's right there, it's, it's, on a cake, this is the 25th issue, the and lastly, this is a mistake because I don't get this, I don't collect this, but you know what? It's a really cool cover, and fuck it, it's mine. Uh, number five is Spider-Man 2, which, again, I don't collect, but it ended up in my cool, so. No big deal, but that does it for the comic books portion of this video. We do got collectibles, stay tuned. All in all, a very great year for comic books. A lot of beautiful artwork, a lot of interesting stories, which I've yet to catch up on. Um, so, that was fun, okay? So now, let's go ahead and move on to the collectibles. We got Funko Pots, we got some figurines. Let's do that real quick. Uh, first, we just got these, my sister just, she wanted them, and I was like, yeah, screw it, let's take them. Um, we got some Star Wars pens. Look at that, we got a little Vader, it's so cute. We got these from Under City, by the way. Uh, got a little Vader, this is mine. Got the Star Wars logo right there. But yeah, this is mine. And this is hers, which I kind of want it too, but you know what, I'll be fair. We got the beautiful little Ray. Um, this is the last Jedi version. He's so cute. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me show you this. I'll show you the Funko Pops in a second. Let me show you this. This is actually kind of cool. My niece, my oldest niece, uh, went to a white elephant party. In case you don't know what white elephant is, you basically fight over gifts. Anybody can jack your gift or whatever. I don't particularly like it, but she got hooked up, she got me something, she actually got three things, uh, the other stuff, whatever, but she got one that she knew I would like, and she's, she's giving it to me as an early birthday present, which my birthday is next month, on the 16th, and I love it, I love it, it's a little damaged, but I'll take it, it was free, and off we can take it. Hell yeah. This is so cool. We have a spawn figurine of Nogoja, dude. Nogoja. The evil, dirty, nasty piece of shit villain. You nasty motherfucker. You look at this cocksucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm cussing too much. That's, that's bad. That's really bad of me. Uh, but yeah, now, the, 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 it's, it's a little damaged, I'm thinking on, I don't know, I'll leave it to you guys, you know, give me some advice, should I take it out of the box, because I'm not going to get rid of it, I'm not going to sell it, but should I take it out of the box, or should I just leave it, because it is really, really flimsy, uh, usually I hang these up, but I feel like it's too flimsy to hang up now, so I'm not entirely sure if I should just take it out or if I should just leave it and store it somewhere, but I really, really love it. Uh, of course, I know the glare is a bitch. Let me see, let me try something real quick. How's that look? There we go. Wow. This way you don't get the glare of the, uh, the monitor, but you still get glare of the lamp. So, whatever, but yeah, I think it's cool. Okay, let's show you guys some Funko Pops. Some of these Funko Pops are not new. Matter of fact, we didn't get any Funko Pops this week. But these are Funko Pops that I have not 
uh, show you guys yet because I was going to wait to do it in a video, a separate video, but I'm just going to do it now. So let's start out with one that we actually picked up a while ago. We got this quite a bit ago, and they had already put it up on the shelf, and it was kind of hard to get to, but I, I reached for it today just to show it to you guys. So we have Jon Snow, Hell Year, from season, uh, the current season. King of the North, right there. Look at that. That is nice. Um, oh, let me show you this. Now, I did already show this to you guys. I showed it in my, con my, um, my Christmas haul. But since it wasn't officially shown in a Funko Pop video, I want to show it to you guys here so, you know, you, you guys can see it. Uh, I did get this for Christmas. Um... Good old ugly ass Darth Maul. I do not remember if I mentioned this. Uh, my sister who who got me, who was so kind and beautiful to get me the the um the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition. This came for free. They gave this to her as a gift and I was like, What? Well, I mean when she told me that I was like, What? So this is really cool and it's really heavy too. Ugly as shit, but I love it. Alright, so let me show you guys these. Uh, these I think we got like three weeks ago. Around. Very, very happy, very, very happy. We just need one more. Actually, okay, there's a few more. There's a set and there's one more solo character, but we got... Characters from The Shining. So, of course, we got Jack. Good old Jack. Here's Jack. Here's Johnny. That's what he says in the movie, but his name is Jack. But, um, so freaking cool. And I love the blood, the blood splatter on the, on the side there. So cool. And we got Wendy. Good old Wendy. Wendy. Darling. I'm not gonna kill ya. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. Just gonna bash them right the fuck in. I don't know if I got that line right. But yeah, we got Wendy scared out of her mind. So yeah, we just need to get the kid. Uh, what the hell's his name? Danny. And we did find him. But unfortunately, uh, we found him in the mall. And we were there doing Christmas shopping. No shopping for us whatsoever, so we kind of passed on him. We'll get him eventually. These we picked up last week. Again, I was going to show them in a separate video, other than my comic book haul, but I'm just doing it now. So, these are new, apparently. My sister loved the movie, I loved the movie, so, so naturally we love the pops. We have... Ella Candy from Wonder Woman. Very cool. She's got the sword and shield. That is so cool. And we have... <sighs> and... And Tio... And to Oh, God. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I really don't. But, man... And, come on. It's Antiope? 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 Ah, uh, God, I don't know. But yeah, that is really cool. That is very cool. Dude, dude, look at... Oh my god. Dude, 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 dude. I love this one. This is really nice. And uh, that does it for the Funko Pops. One last major thing. And then I will let you guys go celebrate whatever you want to celebrate. You know, it's, uh, it's Friday, so... I don't know, maybe you guys are doing something on Friday, I'm not. Like I said, I'm going to eat Chinese food and watch Ash, Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Yes! My sister has been wanting this for a while now. I love the design of it, the detail of it, but it's not, it's one of those, it comes from uh, the Marvel Select Gallery. And so, you know, they use that, that plastic molding. It's not really that valuable, but it is super cool. So I'm actually happy to have it in the collection now. Uh, 
I would have loved to have gotten this for her for Christmas, but it was a little bit out of my range. But, uh, yeah, she, she finally said screw it, and she cooked it up herself. We have, bam, the devil from the show, of course. Incredibly cool. I am going to take it out of the box because it was... It wasn't sealed. It was in the glass case at Under City. So, they had to, you know, take it out and give it to us anyway. So, I will take it out so you guys can see it. Just so you can see how incredibly well detailed it is. I mean, it looks just like Charlie Cox. Wow. Now, it, it's it's light. Again, it doesn't... It's not some fancy material, but it is so cool. It is undeniably cool. And, um, I think it's great. This is going to look really great. And it's got the, you know, the, the stonework there. It's so well detailed, dude. Like, seriously... If you saw it in person, like if you actually held it like me, you'd be pretty impressed. I mean, it, it it's so good. You know? So. Alright guys, so that does it. That does it for the, the collectibles, the comic books, the pots, all that stuff. This is it. Uh, again, I don't think this will be my absolute finest video of the year. Or I mean, my last, excuse me. I do want to do... The, a review of The Last Jedi before I end it. Um, I haven't reviewed it yet, and I'll explain that in the video. I'm not going to make it some big fancy essay type of review. I'm just going to give my take on it, um, and I'll do that maybe on New Year's Eve. So, but for now, thank you guys for watching me all year round. I Deeply appreciate that. I mean, I got new followers, new subscribers, and I really appreciate that. My Twitch stream is starting to pick up again, so I appreciate that. Guys, you guys have been phenomenal. I really just couldn't thank you more. Um, and I hope you stick with me, you know, because I, I think next year I'm going to be a whole lot more mo motivated with all the new subs that have come in. And, of course, with my Twitch stream, I think you're going to see a lot more of me, and I'm going to be a lot more active and, and excited, because we got some good stuff ahead. We, we have a lot of potential uh, for Stuff Burrito coming up, you know? So, anyway, guys, like I always say, or more or less like I always say, never, never, one more time for 2017... And this will carry over to 2018 and beyond. Never let anybody tell you you're too old to collect comic books or collectibles or Funko Pops. Because if they do, they don't deserve to celebrate the New Year or any holidays. They should be on a deserted island where time doesn't matter. Yeah, I like that one. That, that one's pretty good. Guys... Peace out. I'll see you soon. Thank you once again for a great year. Well, there were a lot of things that made 2017 bad. There were a lot of things that made 2017 bad. But at least here, I stuck with little entertainment with all these comic books. We had a good one. Alright? So I will see you guys in 2018. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys soon. Before the year is done, but this is my official goodbye for 2017. Alright? So peace out. Woo -sha -sha -sha!